Hey everyone, it's Andrea and welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're going to be colouring in Fairies Grayscale from Jade Summer. Just a quick disclaimer, this is an adult channel and the videos on this channel are made for adults and in no way, shape or form intended for or made for children. So, first of all, hello, how are you? Welcome to all my new subscribers. I hope you enjoy visiting, I hope you enjoy these videos. Um, yeah, so we picked uh, Fairies by Jade Summer and this is the Grayscale book. And we're going to do this one with the Fairy on the Moon. I'll just stick the ticket there. So I don't know how much of this we're going to do tonight. But we'll do a bit of it and we'll see how we go. So I have no idea, but hey, let's see. So I'm going to use my Touch New Skin Tones Barely Beige. I'm hoping I might be able to get the Arteza Everblend skin tones soon. They are back in stock but uh, of course I bought these. So now I don't have a lot of money to spend on them but that's okay. So Jade Summer's got a new book coming out soon because they, they do uh, print one every week I believe and the next one is called Kawaii Horror. So it's not a grayscale book, it's a line art book, but it looks really good. I can't wait. I will be getting that as soon as it comes out because I really like the kawaii stuff. I had a digital download of the original kawaii girls and then I bought the kawaii fantasy which is kawaii girls and the other kawaii book when it came out in, in grayscale. And uh, I really like those books. I think they're really good. So I'm looking forward to that. hope everybody's keeping well and your families are all safe. I know that uh, certain places are trying to exit lockdown, not where I am. In Wales we are now allowed to go for as much exercise as we want if we want to go out more than once a day. So for instance Paul likes to go out for a walk in the morning and then after he finishes work, if he finishes at four, he'll go out and take Jennifer out for a walk which is really nice. Whereas before he could only do one. Other than that, there's not a lot of changes. There is a bit. Uh, there is talk of opening up the waste centres. So municipal waste centres. Um, they're reopening soon. Garden centres can reopen, which is good if you like gardening and you're using it to stave off uh, misery and depression. I know some people do and libraries can reopen. There's no plan at the moment on sending kids back to school like there is in England or asking them to go back to school. And the general consensus in Wales is you still stay at home. Which I think is right. I think it's the best thing at the moment to do. I don't think we're anywhere ready to completely exit lockdown. I hope it won't be too long before things are lifted but like I said the company I work for has already said they don't expect people back in the office till July unless of course you're a post room worker or somebody who has to be in the office uh, there are certain jobs that require people to be in the office like I said post room for instance but uh, generally unless you're in that department you can pretty much stay off until then and we'll just see how it goes there I know you didn't see me doing the bottom part of the skin but it was just her feet so that's that we um I'm you know and even after then we may not all be back in especially if social distancing is still in measure because it's not going to be possible to do in an office the size of ours so I'm just thinking what colour to do her hair. Um, doing blonde a lot lately, but uh, 
pineapple yellow. I like this colour. It's quite a dark colour as well, so. As you know, I don't plan my colours. I just grab them and go. Sometimes I have an idea about what I'm going to do. So, for instance, I'm doing one in the new colour in heaven that came out the other day. And I'm doing it with a pretty pink theme running through it. So it's all pinks and reds. Apart from, like, the foliage, which will be green. But, I, you know, I haven't planned, oh, this is going to be this shade of pink. That's going to be that shade of red. I'm just like, right, I'll use this colour now. But it, I know that I'm going to do it in those colours. So. We're all fine. Keeping well. I've been vlogging this week, but I forgot to do it today. So today's Thursday and I actually forgot. So I'll just do a quick uh, end of day wrap up. So I forgot. There's so much going on today. That I just completely, completely forgot. So... It happens. I might just skip it and go on to, to Friday and go, yeah, I forgot to vlog yesterday. So, sorry. <laughs> I was going to film this video last night. I'm doing this Thursday night. I wasn't going to do it Wednesday, but I was watching something on YouTube, um, a documentary channel. A history of uh, uh, freaky stuff. It's called Curious World. I've watched them all now, so until they post a new one, there's nothing to watch. And basically, it seems like paranormal, aliens, time slips, anything weird, strange discoveries that have been found, and so on. So, but uh, I like things like that. I've been watching morning and this afternoon I watched some Jack the Ripper stuff. I finished my Jack the Ripper book and started another one and I've got another one on the way. Yay! I love my books as you know. I was going to do a book tour on the vlog but it's not a book room tour of where I'm going to keep in my colouring supplies but it won't be on this week because I've not finished sorting the room out yet. It'll be on the one week after the next hopefully I'll be all done and finished. It's just, as the week goes on, I, I, I'm working, as the week goes on, I get so tired that I just can't do as much in the afternoon as I do at the beginning of the week, so. I've had a couple of days doing very little in the afternoons, just playing with Jennifer and relaxing. So tomorrow it's back to work. I haven't even been photographing eBay the last two days. So what I'll do is I'll do eBay tomorrow and some of the room tomorrow. And then we're on to the weekend and hopefully, I'll get it finished. There's not a lot to do. But uh, I'm sorting out a load of uh, books to get rid of so I can move the bookcase, an extra bookcase in. Ready to put my colouring books on because I have got so many colouring books now that I would like, whoops, nearly spilled my tea, to, uh, what's this colour? Nope. Where is it? Nope. Pale aqua, maybe. What's this one? I'm just looking for a blue. I think I'll go with pale aqua. Yeah. Um, excuse me, I'm just going to slip my tea. Oh, that's nice. I missed a bit of her shoulder there. Where's my skin tones? Hang on. Uh, oh, they're up here. Where is it? Where's the one I'm using? There it is. This one is barely beige. I have a touch new, by the way. And then, 
Um, yeah, so I've still got um, another bookcase to move in, but in order to get to that bookcase, I've actually got to um, uh, get the bookcase clear, move the stuff on it, and it will happen. It'll happen in the next day or so. And I'm looking forward to organising my beautiful colouring book collection and my diaries because I do keep a diary it's not a journal in the sense I don't paste things in sometimes I do but not very often sometimes I paste things in um, but usually I only paste a bit of paper in if I've written more than a, a full page in it but sometimes I put pictures in but uh, it's very rare or cards but I'm yeah gonna put those on the bottom shelf and then I'm hoping to have five shelves all together so there'll be four for colouring books so my plan is to have unused books on the top shelf on the very top will be really big books that don't sort of fit so that all this size books don't go together I should get four shelves of those then um, top shelf will be so on the top will be the oversized books so like Serene and I've got a giant card mandala but they'll just sit on the top and then underneath that will be um, on the first very top shelf will be all the books I haven't coloured in so I have all the Selena Fennec together any Hannah Carlson's if I've got more than one and so on Maria Trolley they all go together and then all the Jade Summer Canon Heavens and so on and then on the next shelf down will be, so it's just because I like to keep an eye on what books I haven't coloured in so I can pull one out each month and colour in it. So for instance I haven't coloured in this book, I did only get it last month but I'm colouring in it now. And then that way I can see which ones I've coloured in and which ones I haven't. So then I'll have all the ones, or some of the ones I have, have coloured in on the next shelf. And then on the next shelf down from that, I'm going to have a shelf just for all my Colour in Heaven magazines at one end and my Jade Summer books at the other, because I've got so many of each of those, excuse me sniffling, that I think I'll just keep a shelf just for them. And then I think I'll have one shelf spare. I might not. It might have to be that they'll be on the bottom of the shelf and until, until I get in there and do it. I don't know, because I have got a lot of books. I'm pretty sure, though, I'll only use up three of the four shelves. Um, so then I've got another. I got a spare one then for when I get more that I have that I've coloured in, and it might be that I have to put the Jade Summer and the Colour in Heavens on shelf number four rather than three, but it won't be straight away. But that's my plan but I'll give you a tour of that when it's finished. It, there's going to be a lot of stuff in it because I have to keep my stock in it and my lamp. But I'm actually hoping that at some point I'll be able to film in there as well. So I'm going to have to turn the book to get into that bit. Sorry, let me just turn it all the way around. Oops! Let's just wait till it focuses in. It's just because it's quite close into the edge. Well, it's easier to do it from that point there. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna get myself a proper tray. I know the sort I want, and uh, I'll try and film up there. Because all the camera equipment and stuff can be stored under the bed. I also have space for colouring pencils and all my equipment, which will get it out in my living room. And then when I want to colour downstairs, I'll just bring down the item, the book I'm colouring in and the item I'm using. So for instance, I'm colouring the, I've got um, a couple of things on the go. I'm doing one with the twine markers in um, the Jade Summer book, Intricate Flowers. Well, my second one in that. And I'm also, I've got the one I'm filming, Black Widows. So I'll be filming a bit more of that soon. Cause obviously I do that in instalments because it's gonna be a longish video like the W.H. Smith one. But uh, 
I just got to film the end really, I've got to finish the picture and film the end so obviously this one that we've just started and what was the other one I've got um oh the new new fairies one from Colour in Heaven which I started today uh, it arrived yesterday and it's, I'm using the polychromos in that so what I'll do so if I'm thinking right I'm going to use the polychromos in this I will just bring down the polychromos in that book because the pile of stuff on my my dining table and books is getting so big one day I hope to get one of those uh, like hobby craft trolleys three tiered trolleys and I'll have books I need to haul in one section books I've coloured in this month in another section and then whips in the third because I have quite a lot of whips going on I mean I've got several books and I'm trying to do them but I just don't get the time so for instance I started one in Imagimorphia um, and I've done the background using the um, what are they called? the Neo Colour 2's but it's a double page spread and I've only activated the one side of it so before I actually start colouring it in because I'll just I'll do it in sections so I'll do all the one type of leaf to start with and then all the second type of things and all then these things so I know what colours I'm using uh, so I want both sides activated and I just haven't got around to doing it so it's just sitting there waiting so I have got a spare drawer upstairs to put colouring supplies in at the moment. I haven't put anything in there yet. I might take a bit up tonight actually just to start clearing a spare drawer down here for other things. I'm trying to get things organised so that our dining room is our dining room, our living room is our living room. Because at the moment I do all my packing down here for my eBay. There's no reason why during the day I can't do it in the shed, especially this time of year when it's so nice. It's light enough. It's a bit different in winter because there's no light up there, but I will be having one installed at some point. Um, so there's no reason really why I can't do it up there, to be honest, now. So it's something I'll start looking at doing is doing all my eBay packing and addressing up, up in the shed. If it's nice, I can just take it out, put it on the, the table outside and do it there. It then stops it taking up space in our living room. And it, it, it does get a bit wary having all this stuff around. So And all the colouring books too, because there's so many of them. So that's my plan. So I could be very well filming for a new location next week. Do excuse me, Sniffer, I've got a bit of a runny nose today. So, yeah, it's just a matter of uh, seeing how we go. must admit I've been really enjoying my colouring although I'm using the markers a lot I was today I thought I really like colour my pencils again I don't colour my pencils as much as I used to because I do a lot of the mandalas and the patterns and I always use either gel pens or the felt tips or now the twine markers or the or the what they call the sharpies I thought oh do you know what? it's gonna be so nice just to use my pencils again for a bit and I might even try and do one in in this book with pencils at some point because I know you can do grayscale with pencils and I'm getting a bit more brave now we use markers and yeah it's great because it's so quick unless you go over the top which I could do but I don't because once I've coloured something as far as I'm concerned it's coloured saying that today when I was doing the skin in this um, fairies one I think I did something like five or six layers 
and use about four different colours or five different colours. It, it, so, in reality, I've done that one more than once, so it doesn't really make much sense, I know. I do what I haven't done. I haven't put a piece of paper behind, and fair play, it hasn't gone through. So, I'm just going to put this, uh, just don't say who's, because I haven't really used a dark colour, I guess. I'm going to put this anthem colour in. Um, thing that the, comes in with the thing, what's it called? Comes in the package with the book underneath it. That's amazing. I think it's just because I've only used the three really light colours and I haven't gone on to the dark colours yet. So that might be why. So that's a relief. I was thinking, oh shit. <laughs> Excuse my lack of cringe, I don't normally swear. I was just so keen to get started because it's been a while since I've done a, pi a, a picture for you. And it's been a long time since we've had a catch up. I've been doing um, flip throughs. I'm filming flip throughs all the time because I'm, I'm getting books all the time. Um, I've got loads to put up. And some days I just don't bother. And sometimes I, think I must put one up. It's like um, when I finish filming this, I'm filming this on Thursday night. Normally Thursday night after I've put one up, um, I've, once I filmed it, I'll go and get it edited ready for tomorrow, even though I don't put it up until the evening. I'm not even going to bother with that today. I'm actually literally just going to do this and then go to bed because I don't want a too late at night. And I want to, I've got a pattern upstairs, I'm colouring with Sharpies I want to carry up plaque on with. But what I can do is when I get up in the morning, I can get this editing. So it's editing while I'm at work while I'm working and then it'll be ready to go and then I can just um what I'll do is I'll probably film another flip through after this one and I'll edit that tomorrow as well and you'll get a video tomorrow and then one the next day and then tomorrow night I will try and just film a couple of flip throughs but tomorrow night I want to do my eBay so it's been an alright month. Um, I haven't hit fees because I spent 60 quid on stock. So that's okay. I've still got another, what, another week or so to hit fees. I think I'll probably do it. Had a sale today. I'm not worried about making lots of money on sales because it's not my job. It's not my full-time job. It's just extra money for savings and for holidays, which this year's obviously been cancelled. We were supposed to go on the 26th of June. But where we're going in West Wales is closed until at least the 2nd of July and it'll probably close longer than that. Uh, but we'll probably just rebook it for next year. Or maybe even October or something later in the year. We'll have to see what they say. They'll be contacting us next week. So. Happy days. I still be having my week off on holiday, oh, it's a weekend day actually, because we would, would have gone on the Friday and come back the following Friday. Um, so I'll still have that time off. And Monday then is my birthday. And I'll just spend it at home if it's nice and it's warm. Hopefully it will be. We'll go out in the garden and go in the paddling pool. And just uh, chill out together as a family and just, you know, go on some nice long walks along the canal and Depends on what they've opened up and how things are, uh, are done because we're into this. We're, we've just started the second week of this set of lockdowns. The lockdowns are re reviewed every three weeks by law. So I'm hoping that certain things will be lifted. I can't see much being lifted because there's still a lot, excuse me, of illness around and there's still a lot of people suffering. I just. I mean, I'm kind of hoping that it's going to get easier. I'd like them to open up things like the play park, because I can't see them doing it. Because it's hard on the kids finding things for them to do, and it's nice. I mean, yeah, we got a paddling pool, and she's got a slide. Um, bless her heart. She, You know, she gets bored, especially when we're working, so it'd be nice to have a week off with her. That's my dress done. I'm going to do her... Uh, bits around her feet now but yeah I mean oh on her arm there we are I'll do that that'll be different so we got the um 
a week and a day off, so. I think it's 10 days in total off, so. We'll just have a nice time, we'll read, we'll play, we'll colour, well I'll colour. Play with Jennifer. She likes to, um, if I'm colouring at the table, with pencils, not with the markers because they take up so much of this. In the house, she'll get up opposite me. Whoops, I'm not worried about that because I'm going to go over that with a darker blue later. Um, and she'll get her pens and a pad and she'll sit there and she'll scribble on her pad and colour while I'm colouring and it's really sweet. Now I probably will use a bit of gel pen on this. I'm probably on the stars and the pearls. Um, her necklace possibly. And I'll probably put Wink Estella over her wings. But uh, that won't be tonight because we're already on. What are we on? 26 minutes. It's going on. That should be skin, I think, there. Let me go like that. So I'll just get my skin tone out and do that again. Right, there we go. Oops, wrong one. Where is it? There it is, barely beige. There we go. I'll take do her eyes, I think, and her dress. Hard to do very tiny bits like this, but that's fine. Nice. Right, I just need to have a look. Where's my coloured chart? There it is. Oops, I got books falling everywhere. I was trying to escape the fairies. Get away. I want you tomorrow to carry on. Right, let's have a quick look at the colour chart. Okay, I think we'll do that colour for her wings. So she's a little blue fairy. If I can find the colour, I'll do it. This one up here. What colour is this? Nope. I think they've all got out of. I know that there is that colour in there because it's in the twine markers as well. Hang on. I found it. I'm having one of those days today. <laughs> <coughs> and we'll leave the little circular bits on her wings, but we'll do the rest of it. We'll start down here. This is Arctic Blue, which is uh, A268. It's one of my favourite blues. So this is going to be blue. It's going to be all blue, pretty much, because obviously her... her um, The sky is going to be a very dark, a deep blue, a deeper blue, not dark, dark blue. Um, probably cerulean blue, I think. I, mean, I could do it dark blue, it doesn't really matter because... She's sitting on the moon, so... We'll leave some bits, like the, these bits. For it'll be a, uh, we'll do a glitter pen in those bits and then we'll do some glitter on her neck and her, her um, bangles and probably her headdress part of it anyway. I think she's cute. So. Let's see. I will admit I am a big Jade Summer fan and I really love the grayscale. I love the line art as well, don't get me wrong. And Whether or not I'll actually buy the grayscale versions of the line art books and the line art versions of the grayscale books I've got depends on whether or not I actually catch up on back ordering some of the older ones. Some of the oldest ones are no longer available sadly and there's a few I haven't got which I wish I had uh, but that's unfortunately just the way it goes. 
because they don't republish them once they're sold out. So I'm trying to get some of the ones. And you don't know which ones are going to sell out because some of the newer ones have sold out as well already. So, I mean, I'll admit one of the ones I've got on all day is, one of the, is the one that they said is their least popular book, which was Graffiti Animals. And because, I mean, I'm not really into graffiti or colouring animals, I, I wasn't going to get it. And then I thought, do you know what? I want to see what it is, see what it's like, because the lion on the cover is really great. And the thing is, you don't have to colour it like a lion. You can colour it purple. <laughs> if it's graffiti, it could be whatever you want it to be. And I thought, do you know what? That might be just fun to do with the Sharpies or the, the um, Super Tips or something like that without having to think too much about what you're doing. So I thought, yeah, do you know what? I'm going to get it. So I've got 100 Swirls and that one on order. I think it's 100 Swirls. It's swir one of the Swirls books anyway. And uh, I'm really looking forward to it. That one's on, on order. So hopefully, I think this will come next week. I mean, I've not, I want them to come because I want to see them. But I'm not bothered because I've got plenty, plenty. I've got enough colouring pages probably to last me since they die in a very long time. And I'm always getting new books. I mean, I don't, because Paul's paid for our holiday, even though we're not taking it this year, I said, you don't have to get me anything. I said, all he's got to do, well, he is getting me something because he'll be renewing my sub, my second six months of Colour in Heaven. I said, I'm happy with that. He'll probably get me something else, but that is what I want. I want another six months of Colour in Heaven because every book they've put out this year so far, I have absolutely adored. And it's like I said, the subscription's brilliant because I know for a fact that if I hadn't had the subscription, I would never have bought the Gothic Alchemy one because the grayscale is so dark in it. But I really love that book and I want to do some more in it. And I will, I probably won't do it on camera unless you want to see it, but I can go over these. Even if I go over one now, it doesn't really matter because I can go over them with, go over it with the, uh, gel pen later anyway so yeah that's my plan so yeah I have got quite a lot of jade summer books I might do a jade summer book collection at some point once I've got them all sorted and like I said some of the ones I've got I've got are out of print so for instance everyday horror which I've only coloured I started colouring a picture and never finished it so I'm going to try and finish that this month for halfway to Halloween I it's not my favourite book, but people want it, and I've got it, and I'm lucky, because it's one of the first ones I ordered. Um, Ancient Egypt is another one that's out of stock that I've got. I've never coloured in that. I'm just thinking, of how much yellow am I going to use up colouring in that book? But I am I will probably give it a go soon. As I said, I am working through all of my colouring books. <laughs> I'm trying to colour in every single one. Now, I'm not going to do too much, because uh, I do want to make this last another video but I'm going to carry on doing her wings for now I haven't finished those so we've done 30 minutes because it's turned off and I switched it back on so I'm still watching Doctor Who I'm on Peter Capaldi's second series season now he did three I think yeah three two with Clara and one with Bill um, and I'm on the second series, I've only just started it, we're on the first episode. So that's good. I'm, I'm working my way through them, I'm going to watch them all. I will watch the new ones as well with um, Jodie Whittaker. And then I'll have watched all of New Ho from beginning to current. The good thing about Doctor Who is that even though filming shut down on pretty much everything at the moment due to what's going on, Doctor Who's festive special, they call it festive because it's not necessarily on Christmas Day anymore. The festive special has been shot um, and it's called Revolution of the Daleks. And in it, the Daleks, um, there's a picture of them on Clifton Suspension Bridge in Bristol, which is my hometown. So it's my bridge. It's mine. <laughs> I always say that, it's a running joke. Oh, that's nice. I've got to tax my car as well. I've just remembered. I'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> I 
it, it, it's not due to the end of the month, so I've got plenty of time, but I just do it online, it's easier. There are three ways you can tax your car. You can tax it online, over the phone, or in the post office. I, I do it online, it's the quickest way of doing it. You don't need to take any insurance on your MOT if you tax it online, because they can see all that anyway. So... Pay my vehicle excise duty. We call it car tax. Hasn't been car tax since the early 20th century, to be fair. It's quite annoying because I haven't driven my car for a couple of months. I must turn the engine over tomorrow. I do that periodically. Give it a bit of a rev. It's yeah, I was just gonna blow my nose, it won't be a sec. Oh, sorry about that. Had to be done, you know what it's like. a notification on Facebook or something ridiculous. Oh, I've had an offer on an item uh, which I will accept because it's a fair enough offer. I'm happy with it. I'll do that once we've finished. I do like buying and selling on eBay and I do do it legitimately. I am registered with the tax office. Um, in the UK, we have to have a business selling account. I have a business account. I declare everything to the tax office. I've got to do my tax return this year. I haven't done it yet. Um, I might try and do that on my uh, day off next week because we've got a couple of days off coming up. Because in the UK, we have a holiday. Um, I think it's the tw something like the 28th of the month. It's the last Monday in the month, basically. Um, and we've got next Friday off and then the Monday and the Tuesday so a nice long weekend so I think I might sit down and do my tax return on Friday get it done out the way and tell me what I owe if I owe anything I'll pay it I don't make much money on my eBay but because I have a job as well although it's not full time and I don't pay tax on it it may well be that the eBay, I'm not worrying about hitting these circles because I'll just go over them with the gel pen later. Yeah, I'll just go over them later. It's going to be easier to do it like that. Um, I'll just uh, pay what they owe me, I've, what I owe them. If, if it does go over, I've, I've got the money put away. I, I don't spend the money I, I earn on eBay particularly. Um, if I do, I always make sure there's enough money I basically what happens if, if I earn whatever I earn in profit at the end of each month I split in half so when I don't earn a huge amount sometimes I, I might only earn £120 profit and that's fine because it's not I don't rely on this money to to live on it's, it's for extras for treats for holidays so what I would do out of that say I earn say £300 I'd put £150 of that 300 pound into a savings account to pay any tax that's owing. Um, tax is 20% in this country. Anything else, um, I can either spend or save it. So, so I tend to put some of it in our house renovation fund because we're saving up to get the dining room done the same way as the living room. The living room needs a coat of paint where Jennifer stuck her dirty hands everywhere. <laughs> that's just one of those things. And um, the dining area we haven't done. So we want to do that and we're looking at, at getting that done and, and getting the flooring done as well. Having the carpets up, having all laminate flooring and then having the stairs and hallway done. Because the carpet is knackered. And we think laminate flooring would be better. So we're, that's what we're planning on doing. But we need to get the money to do it and of course we're going to have all the 
the alcoves will be shelved like they are in the other room for our CD collection. And we'll have an area for my record player, although we are getting a new turntable and speaker system soon. And then we're going to have all the records down here as well. So this is our listening zone. The colouring zone will be upstairs in the spare room. There we go. So we are getting there with this one. It looks nice. So she was just very night touch. She's a night fairy. And like I said, I'll go over those holes that I've done blue with glitter gel later. Let's fill that in. There we are. So we'll let that dry and we'll have a look at what colour we're going to do the moon next. So we've got two stripes of the moon. We want a nice light colour. Maybe jasmine's a nice colour actually. I'm just having a quick look. There's a colour called jasmine yellow that's very pale, or it's a goldy cream. I think we'll go with the jasmine yellow if I can find it. I think it's in this section somewhere. Is this it? There it is, jasmine yellow. This is A936, so it's a sort of very pale yellow, and it might look really nice. It might look bloody horrible. We'll start over here. So I'm just going to do the moon and then we'll call it a night and we'll finish off the rest of the picture in another video. So that's, I mean, I do like using markers on um, current chats because then they only really last two pictures whereas pencils can last up to four videos. This way it's just like one or two, usually two. And we do most of the detail. As I said, we'll do the background next time and then it'll be all the little detail bits with the glitter pens which is fine I'm happy with that. How did I put that there? What colour did we do it? We did it um, pale aqua blue on it. This one. Mm. Sometimes you kind of miss a bit. Like I said, I'm just going to finish this. I'm going to do a flip through um, as well. And then I'm going to go to bed. And if I've got time, I might colour for half an hour in my magical patterns. I think it's 100 magical patterns I'm colouring in upstairs. It's either that or read a book, but I don't really feel like reading. I'm not in the mood. colour for 10 minutes. I'll be glad when it's finished time tomorrow at work and have a nice weekend. I've only got four days next week. That's always better. Do love using these other blend markers I think they're absolutely fantastic I will be buying them again some of them you can buy in packs of four they're not completely open stock so you can't just go and buy it say buy one jasmine yellow pen because you've run out you've got to buy them in packs of four not all the colors are available I know they are trying to get them all open stock but uh, you know it is what it is Like I said, I'm thinking of getting the skin tones, even though I've got the uh, Touch New skin tones, and I do like them. I think they work really well. But I'm always looking to increase my supplies and what I use to try new things. I like to try new things. So for instance, like the Crayolas I've tried, I don't even know where they are now because Jennifer's using them. Um, I will be doing a video on the Crayolas. I, I've, we've got the 100 set, um, but they're all mixed up in a, a tin at the moment. Um, but I will be doing a video on them and it's just the basic Crayola set 
not the art. There's another set where they're more for colouring enthusiasts, but these are literally the basic kids' pencils. I did a picture with them and I really like it. And it was earlier this month, so you haven't seen it yet. But you'll see it at the end of, I think it's at the end of this month, is it? It's yeah, yeah, it, you'll see at the end of this month. It seems like I've done a lot of pictures again, but I haven't done as many as last month, and I'm because I'm trying to do more pencil work this month. Last week was a lot of markers and a lot of patterns, and I'm not worrying too. I mean, I am doing patterns, but I'm not going to worry about doing as many of them. I want to do pictures. I can't see that seeing patterns is that interesting for people at the end of the month when I show you what I colour. We're seeing something like this is probably a bit better. Now I know we've done just over 40 minutes. So I'm just gonna finish the moon off. We'll have a quick look. And then we'll uh, call it a night. Because, yeah. And this memory card's playing up now. I put it in, in my computer and it doesn't recognize it. And uh, so I have to uh, attach the camera. But well, I've got to be careful not to open the slot because if I open the slot it, and then close it, it tells me there's no no card in the camera. So I think it's the memory card. So I have to. I have got another one. I got a 64 gigger. I got loads of memory cards. They're all over the place because Jennifer keeps getting hold of them. Fortunately, these days they're a lot cheaper than they were back when uh, we first started using memory cards. They're like really expensive. There we go. worried about going and over anything like where the stars are shining because I can go over that with the gel pens later so they'll either be gold or silver or oh, yellow I've got a yellow so we'll we'll just see but there we are we're nearly done for today I think that's about it I can see a little gap up here where I've missed a bit same thing with markers, sometimes it's very easy to leave little white spots. There we go. So let's have a look at this so far. So here we are. We have now got to do, obviously, the stars and the droopy bits, little droplets. And her necklace and her headdress and her bangles. The spots on her wings. And stars and stuff so we'll do that in the next video so we'll be using uh, one more marker on here it'll be a darker blue it's how they're gonna be let's have a look let's have a look see what you think cerulean blue which is this color we'll just zoom in there or we could use sapphire blue which is another nice dark one so let me know what you think out of these blues. So we've got, let me just show you the four here. We've got Mykonos blue, Aegean blue, Cerulean blue or Sapphire blue. Let me know which one you think we should do the sky. Because I could quite go with Mykonos. Anyway, so they're the blues. So that's what we've done. We will finish this off in the next one. In the next day or so we'll uh, do the second part. I'm really looking the way, loving the way this is coming out. I really like it. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Uh, leave me a comment down below and let me know what colour blue I should do the sky. Um, or if you've got anything else to, to let me know, please, please, uh, you know, please just say. Say hello. Let me know what you're thinking. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And if you are a subscriber, I'd appreciate it if you hit that notification bell because it'll notify you as and when I pop a new, photo, a new video. I do appreciate every single one of you. Every time I get a new a subscriber, I get so excited. I do. I'm not going to lie. So I'll see you in the next video, guys. See you soon. Bye.